the beginning of our tenure in January 2021, you would recall that the External Affairs Minister had presented an eight-point action plan for the UN system to credibly address the menace of terrorism and ensure effective action. As I've already mentioned, as the chair of the Counterterrorism Committee, we raised the profile of this committee. The special meeting of the committee held in India in October 2022, to which I've already alluded, resulted in the landmark Delhi Declaration. This was followed up by a presidential statement on counterterrorism in December during the course of our current presidency, which emphasized several of the points from the eight-point action plan that was proposed by the External Affairs Minister last year. For instance, the Council this time condemned cross-border terrorist attacks, called on all member states to summon the requisite political will to denounce all acts of terrorism, urged member states to ensure that listing and delisting proposals of individuals and entities under Security Council sanctions are evidence-based, reaffirmed member states' obligations to prevent and suppress the financing of terrorist acts, underlined that acts of terrorism seriously impair the enjoyment of human rights, and urged member states to deny safe haven to and bring to justice extradite or prosecute the perpetrators. Now, as we all know, India has faced the horrors of cross-border terrorism for decades before the world took serious note of it. We have lost many innocent lives, and all the while, we have fought terrorism resolutely and with zero tolerance. We will continue to do so, and as our Prime Minister has stated, not rest till terrorism is uprooted.